working on balance with agility work today. Agility is super important for quick changes of direction. Um, if someone bumps into you and you have to quickly move your feet or recover, you need agility for all of those situations. So let's start with right foot in front of left foot and we'll rock. Now with this one, really try and get those arms swinging nice and big. I am your modifier today, so follow me if you have balance difficulties or joint pain. If that feels pretty good, you can go ahead and do an even bigger rock so you're on one foot at a time. Really reach, stretch. We'll do this for 15 more seconds and then we'll do the other side. We're going to go through all of these pretty quick today and then we'll run through them again. All right, let's get that left foot forward. Start with just rocking. When you get the hang of that, you can make it nice and big. You can move your chair or you can turn your body around so you can get swings with the other arm. I just am doing the same arm for She's keeping it simple. Demo purposes. Big, big arms. We have 30 seconds to go till we move on to our next thing. This kind of work should get your heart rate up a bit too because we're moving quickly. We're moving our whole body all at once. So if you're feeling a little out of breath, that is okay. All right, face me, face Beth. We're gonna start with our right leg. It's a giant step to the side, a little lunge, and then you're gonna push off of that foot um, and bring the knee up. Lunge and up. I'm just using the chair for support. Try not to stop in the middle, or put your foot down in the middle, I mean. Push off and pause. This is challenging. Feel free to use the chair. 15 more seconds. And then of course we'll do that other side. Good, okay, other side. Step, push off and hop. Now I didn't give you any really specific directions for the arms with this. Mine are kind of naturally swinging. They're sort of helping me counterbalance. They shouldn't be stuck stiffly at your side, so get them moving a little bit. 20 more seconds. Last couple. Give me two more. One, two, good. All right, move to one side of your room. We're gonna work on a grapevine next, which I'll do slow to start with, and then we'll work on speed. Crossing over, crossing behind. I'm gonna stay slow. So if you wanna just get the motion down, you're gonna be repeating this video a couple times through this month. So start your first time off slow. Get the good motion of forward, behind, forward, behind, and then speed it up like Lindsay. Let's do 20 more seconds of this. Doing these exercise videos a couple times a month is really good for consistency and you're gonna be able to gauge your progress. So journaling down after your workouts, how you did and little goals you wanna set for next time is a really great idea. All right guys, back to the middle. Right leg, tap it forward, lift, side, lift, back lift. My right leg is not hitting the floor. Well, it is hitting the floor, just not, not in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> Excellent point. I thought for a second, I thought, well, it looks like it's hitting the floor. It is hitting the floor, but not to rest. That's what I meant. 15 seconds. 
And again, get the pattern down and then put it in high gear. Good, okay, my hip is burning. Other leg, we're standing on the right. We're tapping forward, side, back. Because I'm holding on, I'm able to do this a lot faster. And that's what we're looking for. with this stuff. This particular section, all about speed and transitions. Couple more. Good, okay. Two big steps, jump. Step, step, jump. We're going to do this for 20 seconds. We're going to take a little breather and we're going to start over. I'm not jumping, I'm just going up on my toes. Woo! All right, catch your breath, march in place. If you remember, rocking and reaching, right foot forward was first. We'll start in five seconds. I gotta catch my breath. Okay, I think I'm good. Right foot forward, left foot back. Rock, reach, stretch. Bigger is better. And toes up, heel up. Toes up. Heel up. Remember, don't get too caught up in the arm swing. Just do it big. Okay, let's put our other foot forward. Rock. And reach. If you're holding onto a chair, don't forget to turn your body and use the other hand. I am not demonstrating that. Do as I say, not as I do. Let's do this for another 10 seconds, and then we'll move on to our side hops. Beautiful, okay. Let's start with the right leg to the side and up. Push off and up. Four, 
forward, side, back. Now with this one, you're reaching as far as you can. It's not really a lunge, but as big of a step as you can make it. Fifteen more seconds. Good. Okay, now the other side. Forward, side, back. Let's do this for 20 more seconds, and then we'll finish out this video with our big steps and jumps. Give me one more. All right, two huge steps and reach. Step, step, height. Bend your knees a little bit to get some more height. We have 20 seconds left. That's nothing. You can do anything for 20 seconds. One more.